workout in. And for myself, I have to have routine in my life to truly like keep myself sane, but also to just feel really good about myself. I wanted to share with you in this video that most days, <laughs> if I'm being honest, I don't feel like doing some of the items, especially coming upstairs to get a workout in. And so I wanted to share with you what has helped me to get these things done. When I think about like not wanting to do something, not wanting to get up early, not wanting to read, you know, just go back to bed or not wanting to come upstairs is I think about why did I create the habit tracker? Why is this even one of my goals? Because in my mind, I will convince myself to do other things. And I feel as though like coming back to your why, we always talk about our why right and like why is it so important to have your why and this is it because you think about okay why did i make this goal to begin with is skipping this or that thing going to help get myself to this goal when it comes to working out it's like okay i've made it as simple as possible for myself i do not have to get ready i do not match right now i don't have any makeup on i do not have to drive anywhere i don't have to like wait till a specific class time all i have to do is go upstairs i invested in the treadmill the weights the peloton i mean it's a super small workout area it's nothing fancy but i've set this up for myself i've set myself up for success these are the things that i need to get a good workout in and I'm not even doing anything intense. My goal is to just do 20 minutes of weights up here. And also what's on my habit tracker is to walk, which today, this afternoon, I'm gonna after work walk the bridge that's near our house. So I'm not gonna be getting a walk in. So all I have to do is a 20 minute weight workout. And for some reason it takes some convincing in my mind some days to come up here and get that workout in. I know that I'm just going to feel so good afterwards and even something as simple as 20 minutes. I hope that this video is helpful for you and inspires you to want to get up earlier, to get more things done, to have some quiet time, to do something for yourself. Let me know in the comments if you like this type of video. All right, so let's get a workout in. I typically will do a 20 minute Peloton workout. They have other workouts on Peloton if you're not familiar. It's not just workouts on the bike. They have legs, abs, arms, bar, Pilates, literally all the things on there. So um, I typically will put the Peloton app on my big screen TV in here so that I can watch it on there, watch the workout on there. So we're just gonna do 20 minutes and knock it out and get to the next task. I do not regret it. So glad that I did it. And honestly, this 20 minute workout, it felt like it went by so fast. I feel really good about how consistent I am with yoga and those are hour long classes. So this 20 minutes literally feels like nothing. And before I came up here, like, I don't know why, every single time it takes convincing. And all I have to do is come upstairs. <laughs> so simple, but even like doing 20 minutes, I'm like, oh my gosh, 20 minutes. And after I'm done with it, this is every single time. I never regret it. I always feel amazing. And the 20 minute strength workouts, I'm always saying to myself like, wow, it went by so fast. So uh, why do we do this? Why, do we, why does it take convincing to come up here when I know how good I'm going to feel? Now I'm like, Checking off all the things this morning, getting all my morning routine tasks done, things for myself, and it's just going to make my day 10 times better. All right, so let's talk about 
food for a second. I am going to make two eggs for breakfast and some gluten-free oats with hemp hearts. I like to just sprinkle on top. But as far as like food and my goals for 2023, I mean, I really like to focus on 12 weeks. So make sure if you haven't seen it yet, I had a video recently about my 12 week year and I created a template on Notion and it is freaking amazing. I post videos every single week, but the one that I did last week was so good. And so if you're needing some accountability, you need to go click below and uh, check that out. And I will have below in the description, um, you can have a copy of my template for the habit tracker. I will share it below. The only thing that I ask of you, because we had some issues with the 12 week template, when you go to take this template, you have to make a copy, make a duplicate in Notion. And in that copy that you make, you can edit that and do whatever you want with it. But that copy that you took is our master copy. So if you make edits to it, everybody can see, and it's the master copy. I kind of need that and need it to be the same so that everyone can duplicate it and then you can edit it. Nobody will see your edits and it'll be your own copy. But I just love Notion and being able to, I use it mostly with my desktop, but when you are on the go, the way that I set up the template is that, and the same thing for the 12 week template, I believe, but I know for sure the habit tracker, that when you use it in the app, that the way that I set up the days, like it will all go in order. So these templates in Notion are, there is a learning curve to it. I watch some YouTube videos. It's once you get going, it is super simple, but I will share my habit tracker with you below. Okay, as far as food, we always eat pretty well, like pasture-raised, like our eggs are pasture-raised. We eat all organic, mostly whole foods. I don't typically have like sugar in the house, but that's like my main, main focus is, you know, continuing to eat uh, quality food and just focusing on whole foods, not processed. But sugar is like what I'm mostly focusing on. No alcohol and eliminating sugar as much as I can. Sugar is in freaking everything. So when I'm buying products, like I really just try to stick a Whole Foods where it's just like, there might be natural sugars in it, but as far as like everything else, like there's sugar in everything. So like, it's gonna happen obviously, and I'm sure I'm gonna have treats, but I just wanna focus on like normal day-to-day, -day, focusing on not having sugar. So yeah, I feel pretty good about things and hopefully you do too and that this inspires you. so good having gotten done what I needed to get done today and checking all of the boxes. Like I said earlier in this video, it's what keeps me sane. I need the routine and it really helps set my day up for success. So the last thing I'm gonna share with you before we wrap up this video is I'm going to prepare my lunch and I want to know, does this make sense? <laughs> okay, so, so I'm not gonna be home for lunch today. So typically I'm working from home a lot and I like to prepare literally all my meals, like breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, all the things. But if I'm gonna be out and about, I like to prepare my food, right? 
So I, I obviously don't stop, eat something unhealthy. But what I like to do is make something that I probably would not make for myself if I was eating home, making lunch myself at home, right? And what I mean by that is like, I'm going to make to bring with me tuna out of a can. It's like nothing fancy. I'm gonna make it good. I mean, I love it. It's, um, you know, just relish, celery, some onion, salt, pepper, and it's good. It's really good. I'm gonna make that and make it for on the road today, but I would not, not going to make this for lunch at home. If I was eating at lunch at home today, we have, what do we have? Leftover chicken thighs, broccoli, and rice so good and if i was going to be home for lunch today like i would just reheat that up and then as far as my snacks i'm going to have this whole 30 jalapeno beef stick and i'll probably bring like strawberries or something but like i do not snack on these at home i have this exclusively for when i'm out on the road because it's like i'm hungry i don't want to stop i prepared my food so like i'm going to eat what it was that i prepared it to bring with me but I always pack like so healthy and something that I wouldn't normally, what I'm normally not going to eat at home because I have no choice. I'm gonna be so hungry, I will have no choice but to eat this tuna and this beef stick. Whereas, like I said, I'm not going to make this at home today. I'm not going to have this as a snack. I would have something else. So does that make sense? I basically just like torture myself. No, <laughs> basically force myself to eat really healthy when I'm out and about because I have no other choice. Hopefully that made sense. But yeah, thanks for watching this morning routine video. Let me know below in the comments if it inspired you and I'll see you on the next one.